Yeah, y'all made it just in time for prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up all of my sisters that are here right now. And I ask that whatever care, worry, or thing it is that's on their heart that is stressing them, that they will take those things directly into your presence and place them directly into your hands so that you can take care of it because you care for them. I ask that whatever is weighing them down, whatever is... <clears throat> weighing heavy on their heart god that that burden is lightened on today as they come into prayer and as they come into worship i ask that you give them a special anointing to be able to hear and see in the spirit in jesus name i ask for that prophetic gift that you have given them all to be stirred up in this hour help sharpen their spiritual senses god um not so that they can be weird or strange but simply so that they can hear from you they can submit to your leadership and they can step fully into their promised land, into their purpose, into their calling, and into the future it is that you have predestined for them to step into. So God, I ask that on today, the next time they go into prayer, they will leave with notes in their prayer journal, God. The next time they go into prayer, they will have a heightened spiritual discernment so that they'll know the difference between your voice, their thoughts, and the fiery darts of the enemy. I come against all confusion in the name of Jesus. I come against all spiritual confusion. I cancel every attack the enemy has on their prayer time and on their Bible study time. And I ask God that they will not get sleepy when they go to study and they won't be confused, but the spirit of understanding that is the Holy Spirit will be there to make it clear for them and that you will also birth on it inside of them a hunger and a thirst to study your word and to spend time in prayer and to spend time in worship. Let it not be an arduous thing that you are calling them to do, but let them come into prayer and worship with revelation, with expectation and with excitement. Of experiencing your presence anew so I pray for a fresh anointing on today God for prayer for worship for study time for relationship with Christ Jesus a fresh wind God a fresh refreshing even take their prayer life to another level take their study time to another level God in you in Jesus name Yombo reki yo ko manaka shomba reki siyo. Yombo raka yo ko reka so ko manaki shio. And Father, I thank you that as they begin to spend time with you, their lives will go from faith to faith and from glory to glory. You will remove all doubt. You will remove all unbelief. You will remove all fear. And you will truly begin to direct their footsteps, God. They will be on the path it is that you um, have laid out before them. There won't be any confusion, but there will be clarity. In the name of Jesus, I ask for grace. I ask for angels to go before them. I ask for every crooked path to be made straight because they are hearing from you and moving forward. I decree the blessing of God on their prayer time, on their study time. I thank you that their relationship with you will grow stronger and stronger in these coming days, God. And that the glory of the Lord will be revealed on their life because they know you so intimately that people will be able to look at them and see God. They'll be able to look at them and see Jesus in the name of in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for all of these things and more. Give them a heart of worship. Give them a heart of prayer. Also give them discipline and obedience needed to really go into your presence and come out with answers. To go into your presence and for their prayer time to be fruitful in Jesus' name. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to go. I need to go get my baby. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to receive that prayer. I want you to go into prayer with your notebook. And I want you to expect God to speak. And I want you to write down everything that you hear from God in prayer.